commercial presentation of Info... ...up on the Missouri State Fairgrounds. And the meaty monsters have a sweet tooth for speed, as well as an appetite for destruction. Coming up next, we'll see who enjoys the taste of victory. This is Truxton Tractor Power, featuring the superstars of the four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Nationals Monster Truck Challenge. Welcome to Trucks and Tractor Power on the National Network. Today we're at the Missouri State Fairgrounds in Sedalia for the four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Midwest Nationals. Hi everybody, I'm Gary Lee and we are just underway, but we have a stoppage in the action. We are surrounded by controversy. So with that story, to clear up the situation, let's go to the Tedarian Army Armstrong and I'll go back to the broadcast booth. Gary, we've had a little controversy down here on the track and I'm going to try to straighten it out for you. Bigfoot made a bye run. He ran out of bounds, okay? He did not hit the second set of cars at all. Rules say when you run out of bounds, you're disqualified. In this sport, when you're disqualified, you do not come back. You go on the trailer. This was in the first round. Bigfoot, the fastest truck of the day, got that by run for being the fastest. But he's not going to be able to come back because the drivers got with George Carpenter, and they had a meeting to decide a rule. There was not a rule in this particular situation. This is the way the rule works. By run or not, you run out of bounds, you're disqualified, you don't come back. What I'm telling you, Bigfoot's not going to be back in the race today. Let's go back to the race in action right now. They're coming to life. And there is a look at Andy Brass from fast qualifier to a disqualified spectator. So he'll be watching the action this afternoon. Round one pairings. There's the by run disqualification for Bigfoot King Crunch and Wayne Smozanic out of Jupiter, Florida in Tropical Thunder. Also in round one, we have the new Dodge of Barefoot, the new Ford of No Problem. Gary Porter's Carolina Crusher will take on the Taurus truck out of Illinois. Nightmare with a brand new driver against Black Stallion. And Snake Mike will take on Just Show It Off. Just Show It Off making his first appearance in this series. And there is a look at the brand new color scheme for the auto value King Crunch of Scott Stevens out of Texas. Well, Gary, we're not even one race into this thing. And the controversy is you could, you could literally cut it with a knife. Meanwhile, these guys on the starting line, all they want to do is race their truck. Scott Stevens comes back with a new paint job, trying to carry the colors for his sponsor. He's going to be going up against Wayne Smozanic. Wayne's picked up a new sponsor this year, like I say. Everything's new. Stevens comes out with the same old truck. He just put a new dress on this girl. He says he's going to take it to the prom. Meanwhile, Smozanic out of Florida. He wants to be a player this year, but the bottom line is they just want to race. And race they are right now. Bit of a nosedive there for Wayne Smozanic. The victory goes to the King Crunch Auto Value truck of Scott Stevens. Gary, it's kind of interesting. Smozanic had trouble. The same thing happened to him that happened to Andy Brass that caused all this controversy. First jump he clears. Now watch what happens here. For some reason, then he gets near the second jump. Meanwhile, Stevens doing his thing good on the far side. He'll go to that next round. Coming up next, there's Gary Porter and the Carolina Crusher. And notice the railroad ties, Army. They're actually testing to make sure these vehicles are in four-wheel drive, uh, harkening back to the controversy we had last week with Taurus. Yeah, earlier in the year, there was a whole lot of controversy over whether or not the trucks must be in four-wheel drive. The decision was made, yes. Then you got a problem. How do you make sure they're in four-wheel drive? Very simple. You make them drive over an obstacle like the railroad ties. If one wheel's not pulling, it'll show real quick. So Taurus would really like to make a shot, but the man in front of him had trouble in this lane. That's Eldon Depew. Will that affect his driving concentration? we got to wait and see, Gary. The youngster from Granite City, Illinois, just across the river from St. Louis in the near lane in Taurus. The far lane from Carolina, the Carolina Crusher and Gary Porter. Both big Chevrolet monster truck with a snoopy nose of Eldon Depew. Flat drilled. The Crusher, but the Crusher pulled him back on the other end. Depew's in trouble. Oh, he high sides it, brings it back down. Eldon Depew had the whole shot, but out of nowhere comes Gary Porter, and the Crusher takes it. Boy, Let's look kid, again, Army. This kid drilled Porter on the starting line, but see how close Porter stayed to the ground? He settles down, all four wheels biting. Now he launches good. Meanwhile, the few hits kind of cockeyed, and that did a lot of damage to that truck. That's why you're in that configuration. Stay on the throttle. The first thing a driver wants to do is back out of it. That's the wrong thing to do. Exactly. you got to throttle up, plant the horsepower, and try to get it settled back down. So the victory in round one goes to the driver of the Carolina Crusher. That is Gary Porter. He's with Army. Well, Gary, Gary Porter just put one of the big guys on the trailer down here. Taurus literally tore it up trying to beat you. Wasn't able to do it. 
Yeah, I noticed he got me off the line a little bit, and, you know, I thought right then, you know, maybe I had lost the race, but I tried to stay with it. The truck settled down good between the two sets of cars, and, you know, and it seemed like the truck just went straight for me. Round one action will continue with the likes of Nightmare, Block Stallion, Snake Bite, and just show it off. Stay with us. State Fairgrounds, where Ford Trucks presents the Penda four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Midwest Nationals, a part of the BF Goodrich Performance Series. Gary Lee, along with Army Armstrong, as action continues in round one, a brand new driver in Nightmare out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. This is Kirk Dabney. Well, Gary, he is new to this truck, but he is not new to the sport of monster racing. He's been around about 10 years. However, on the other side of the slate, this kid comes out in a black giant. He's a new kid on the block. Barter's out of Maryland thinks that he can make a name for himself in this sport and a lot of people are saying hey keep an eye on this kid he's an up-and-comer block stallion the near lane nightmare the far lane this is still round one here in sedalia missouri in the infield at the big dirt track at the missouri state fairgrounds it's all down as he takes the victory in nightmare gary i'm noticing something though and every run we've had these guys are having trouble hitting that second set of cars square Okay, keep an eye on the far lane as the replay comes up. Meanwhile, the kid in the black stallion, he's doing good for himself. He's settling down, getting that time in the seat, but you can't beat experience. And that's exactly what the truck in the far lane had. And he did land a little bit cockeyed, didn't he? Next matchup on the left, snake bite on the right. That's just showing off. And here is Colt Cobra. Colt Cobra out of Colorado has kind of regrouped this year. He's really, really serious and feels he can win you know, the majority of the races. He wants to be the number one monster truck. However, the Purina may say dog food special, who we don't often see on tour with us, driven by Paul Huffaker. This kid out of Spring, Texas, he's been around the sport for many, many years. He's a helper. Now he's got his own truck. He's got a major corporate sponsor. And believe me, he can hammer you in a heartbeat if you give him just a chance. And the snake bite, I'm trying to bite this one. They fight with the whole shot, and he takes the advantage right here as there is a problem with just showing off, and a snake bite takes the victory. Gary, there's something wrong with this track. Every truck, or in, in every race, at least one truck has not even gotten to the second jump. Hoffaker's a good truck. He normally runs straight, but then hooked to the right on him. But look at that. He's back in the, He's going to do what he's supposed to do. He's going to finish the race, but something is throwing those trucks off, and I have no idea what it is. Okay, good replay. Let's see what happens. Watch the front wheel, see if he turns it or the truck turns itself. It just turned itself, didn't it? But he climbs on the brakes and then uh, gets her back on the course to complete the run, but the victory goes to the snake bite. Colt Cobra is down in the pit area with Army Armstrong. Well, Colt Cobra, the crowd is really into this thing today. You went to the starting line with a little bit of vengeance, it seemed like. You wouldn't talk to anybody or anything. You kind of had to psych yourself for your own world. Why is this so important today? Well, you know, Army, uh, we come out here with the Ford uh, Brass Eagle snake bite this weekend. We qualified number two, and we're, we're out here. We're just hunting for blood, you know. We're going up here on the line. Made a good, clean run. You know, the left lane looks pretty bad here today. It's uh, pretty slick in between the cars. So if we can hang with it, we're going to hang over there for a while and just see if we can't make a couple more rounds. Coming up next, a pair of brand-new trucks on the circuit. The brand-new, no problem for the HPX Fastener entry, and we go from a no problem with the Ford to perhaps a problem with the new Dodge Barefoot. There's a look at John Moore out of Lafayette, Tennessee. He goes up against uh, Barefoot, the new Mopower truck of Fred Schaefer, and there is a problem here. Yeah, Fred Schaefer and his crew, they're looking at the electrical system. They might have a problem in what we call the kill box. Yeah, listen to this conversation, Army. Tell him it just worked when Snake Bite was doing it. What he's talking about, Gary, is yes. the, the uh, kill box activated when Snake Bite ran in the lane in front of him. You have a kill box for each lane. He's the same lane as Snake Bite. When they activated Snake Bite, it activated his. So in his mind, the kill box is 100%. Meanwhile, no problem just sitting and waiting. Now John Moore is ready, so I guess the officials will have to sort this problem out. We'll take a break and come back and see if we can continue our racing here in Sedalia, Missouri. During that commercial break, the officials disqualified Fred Schaefer because of the kill box problem. It was not working. He could not make the starting line in the allotted time. Oh, no, no. I've been for I want to see the radio, and I want you to show me right now it don't work. And now I'm moving my truck. That's all I want to see. It takes two minutes. Get the radio over here to Let me see a uh, doubting Thomas in the uh, show me state and here on tape is a look at the by run of John Moore in no problem so with the by run he will advance to 
the next round. There's Army with Fred Schaefer. Okay, Fred, exactly what's going on right now? Uh, well, we took a vote while ago in the Bigfoot rule, and I think they got mad at me. I don't know what's going on with the killer radio. My killer radio just worked fine back there in staging when it was trying to get snake bites. We're both on the same channel. And now I pull a little line, and my radio don't work, and they disqualify me. And the radio is working fine. Okay, now that, that they're saying the three-minute rule affects that. What, what's the status there? It, it, you're well, saying it wasn't your fault. It's not your equipment. It's not your fault. What I'm saying, I didn't build a radio, and the radio is working. Now, they say it's not working, but it just went off twice when he was killing snake bites. I had my radio on to double check it because he's the same frequency as I am, and it was working fine sitting there. Now they say it's not working. They say it's not working. I believe it's working. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. And despite his protest, Brett Schaefer has been disqualified. We take a look now at the matchup for round two. We'll see King Crunch going up against no problem with John Moore. Of course, he had to buy after the barefoot disqualification. Bigfoot has already been disqualified, so the bye run coming up for the Black Stallion into the semis. And also in round two, Snake Bite, victorious over just showing off the bite to take on Torres and Eldon Depew, who was the fast loser in the last round. We'll also have the Carolina Crusher against Nightmare in round two. Well, Schaefer goes back into the staging lanes. Uh, just a moment ago, track official George Carpenter came over with the kill switch. We've got some video on this. To show to Fred Schaefer that indeed his kill switch was malfunctioning. I got a phone. I pushed for a switch with the association throughout the year's past since 1992. So that proves rounded out that uh, there's a malfunction in the kill box, and it's not the staff, it's in the Dodge truck itself. So hopefully that's on behind us. I'm ready to go back with some more monster truck racing. And so are the fans here in Sedillo, Missouri, as we take a look at the auto value King Crunch of Scott Stevens, and he'll go up against John Moore's no problem. Well, Gary, Scott Stevens and John Moore both have been sitting back. They're hot. They're tired. They just want to go racing. This has truly been a day that you can't say there have been no problems. But John Moore is going to try to take his HPX-sponsored vehicle up to the starting line. The LaFayette, Tennessee driver thinking he can move on over into the next round. Steve is going to be a tough customer to handle. John Moore running experimental shock absorbers. His wife standing on the sideline hiding. They've got a lot of investment into this vehicle. They're experimenting with a new chassis setup. Let's see if it's going to work for him. Josh Stevens uh, got a jump right there. He had the whole shot, and he looks like he will take the victory in the far lane. Boy, Boy got the DMC yeah. over the board. Stevens drilled John Moore in the light. Normally, John Moore is quick off the light. Stevens moves the GMC up into the next round. Well, I mean, as you indicated, no problem is a brand new Ford truck. John Moore working out the, the new bugs, if you will, with a new vehicle. Let's take a look again. It's the whole shot that wins it for Scott Stevens. Yeah, as you said, it's a new truck. At this point in time, basically what the Moors are doing, they're tweaking the truck. They're fine-tuning it. He's going to, he learned something here. You know, I, I don't think they're going to be really disappointed with the run. There's a guy that's learning and getting stronger every weekend. Colt Cobra and Snakebite out of Cobra Creek, Colorado. Man, he is a player this season. And he goes up against a guy that's always tough. Eldon Depew in the Taurus out of Granite City, Illinois. Kind of an interesting story. Depew, the nephew of Jack Wellman, been around a long time. Got the Snoopy Nose monster truck called Taurus. Got Snoopy Nose in the far lane and a snake looking truck in the near lane. Oh, wheels up, start for snake, snake bite, but here comes Torres, and Torres takes the victory in the air. Where'd he go? Yeah. He, he, the rear suspension collapsed on him. Well, you know, in an effort to go lighter, they're running lighter axles, and he broke the rear axle. Oh, man, he pulled back. Now, you got to remember, in the first round, he tore the front end of the truck up. Now Eldon comes back in the rear end of the truck. He, I don't think he'll be back. I don't think you're going to get this fixed. Well, let's take a look again. It was Snake Bite with the hole shot right here. Snake Bite has a slight advantage. Yep. But as we go with the second set of cars in the air, watch Torres. Eldon the Pew just settled down and got serious. He nailed the yeah. hammer hitting that second series of cars. He takes the victory, but it will be a costly one. Watch him snap that rear axle right there. So Eldon DePue has had a chance to assess the damage as we take a look at it. He's caught up down in the pit area with Army Armstrong. Gary, another one.
the story down here today is Eldon DePew, the driver of the tour truck. Eldon, a real good run, but it looked like a lot of damage on the run. Will you be able to come back? No, nah, Army, we sure won't. Uh, broke the rear end housing in half, and um, it's in bad shape. And this has been a day we have seen some heavyweights on the sideline after a disqualification of Bigfoot and Barefoot. Now, Taurus, because of damage, will be unable to continue. So this gives us a chance as he is towed away to take a look at the matchup now in the semifinal. With a bye run into the semifinal will be Black Stallion against King Crunch. And Gary Porter's Carolina Crusher defeated Nightmare to advance against the Snake Bite. And of course, the winners will meet for the championship here in Sedalia. There is a look at Mike Potter out of Hagerstown, Maryland, and the Black Stallion. And of course, he goes up against the Auto Value King Crunch in the far lane of Scott Stevens. Well, at the beginning of the show, we talked about this Potter's kid, how he's trying to make a name for himself. He's we're down to only four, and he, he's going to be a player today. But he picked on a pretty tough one in this round, that being Stevens out of Texas. So what you got in the far lane is experience in the new lane, enthusiasm. Chevrolet, or excuse me, GMC in this case, against the four. Let's see who's going to take it. Side by side, they head for the second set of cars, and it's then all King Crush. Boy, he won it in the second half of that lane. Yeah, he definitely did. The ramps are weird. Uh, you're winning the races today, not on the starting line, but in no man's land, Gary. Well, once again, Mike Botters up to the semifinals. Perhaps the best ride in his young monster truck career, but right now it is all Scott Stevens and King Crunch. He will go to the finals here in Missouri, and he will face the winner of this matchup between Snakebite and the Carolina Crusher. Well, this is going to have the crowd on their feet because you got all the, the makings of a battle. You got kind of the mystery guy, the, the, the snake bite four. Then on the other side, you got this kid out of North Carolina who's been a player carrying the Chevrolet colors for a couple of years. Classic battle, good hard racers. You know, this is going to be one just to kick back and watch. I think it should be basically a pretty even race. This is a test between two drivers that have gotten stronger every weekend. Gary Porter came into his own last season, and now this year, Snakebite is certainly a factor. And look at Snakebite. Colt Cobra with the advantage, but here comes Porter. Who won it? Cobra looked like he jumped, missed the second jump. We've got to wait and see. That was, I would say, that was just a good race. I'm not sure who won it. Let's take a look again. What, look at the wheel, 10,000 pounds, and he's doing a wheelie, Gary. You believe that? But he's out of shape right here. And flies off oh, of the Oh, he's been disqualified. He's out of bounds. Gary Porter will take the victory. Watch as they come to you right here. Snake bite is in trouble big time, and he is out of bounds. The victory goes to Gary Porter. Well, Gary, on a day with less unique situations, uh, two old horses are going to go at it with two of the smallest motors here, you and Scott Stevens. It is, you know, as I blew my, uh, my big motor up. This motor I have here is four years old. It's the first blower motor I ever had. You know, I really hated to put it back in because I knew it was real small and I would be out horsepowered by everybody here. But, you know, I had to do something to come and make the race. And, you know, it's working good for me. So it's a show me state showdown between King Crutch and the Carolina Crusher coming up next. Back to the Missouri State Fairgrounds here in Sedalia where four trucks present the Penda four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Spring Nationals as part of the BF Goodrich Performance Series. And these jamborees offer a host of activities for not only the truck lover, but the entire family as well. So to find out more, call or write the Special Event Promotion Company. Well, Army, finally, after a day of controversy, we are ready to crown a champion here in Missouri. Scott Stevens in the Auto Value King Crunch will go up against Gary Porter right there is Gary and the Carolina Crusher. Well, these guys have gone head to head many times before, but you know, it's just like you say, everybody just kind of wants to get this one over today. Porter's motor's in the front. Both crew chiefs checking everything out. Stevens' motor's in the rear. When the light goes green, we're gonna find out who the winner's gonna be real quick. Here the RPM rev up, the green light comes on side by side. They go with the second set of cars, and it's Gary Porter and the Carolina Crusher by what? Maybe a fender? That was a good race. That, you know, I'm, I'm glad it ended that way. It's been a day of controversy and everything, but when it came down, side by side final, and Porter shows his appreciation to the crowd. One more look at your championship run for Gary Porter and the Carolina Crusher. They are side by side right here, but the advantage about right here goes to Gary Porter. He takes the victory. Here he is with Army. Well, Gary Porter, I guess 
If you don't give up, you just keep staying after it, uh, your ship's gonna come in someday. I guess I'd like to thank all the guys back home at the shop that helped me the last couple of weeks. You know, we really had to work hard, changing motors, had some other problems with the truck. You know, my crew guy, Corby Hollis here, everybody just gave it 100%. You know, we just stuck in there and it paid off. Congratulations to you. Okay, thank you. On a day filled with controversy, it is nice to see one of the true gentlemen in the sport take the win. For Army Armstrong, I'm Gary Lee. We'll see you next week on Trucks and Tractor Power. Now, here's news of an exciting video release from Diamond Sea Sports. Just released. Here's another dramatic classic from Diamond B. It's, and they walked away 